Welcome to short introduction of the XBUP project. This presentation will describe some goals which is this project trying to achieve and some of the basic ideas which are behind the XBAP protocol architecture. Also current state of the project and the range of features and functions desired to be covered by the implementation. Basic goals of this project is to design and develop royalty-free support for general binary communication protocol and file format. It should be easily extensible with the support for both backward and forward compatibility and it should provide as much as possible advantages compared to currently used solutions. To achieve this protocol is constructed as a tree of blocks with unified structure. This allows to define consistent type system for definition of the meaning of data in blocks. On top of that there is system service providing all necessary functions for applications for more flexible handling of data definitions. One of the main differences about this project is that despite the currently wide popularity of the text-based markup languages like XML, XBAP project is still targeted to be binary. One of the main reasons is that text-based formats are easily readable only if you know used language, which is not much friendly to users who don't post the knowledge of certain language. There is also usually not available the exact definition of the meaning of the words and there might be even certain slip of the meaning during epoch. With the binary protocol using the unified structure it should be possible to provide human-friendly interface with similar usability and even to cover a wide set of supported languages and to manage difficulties of the language evolution. Also other two issues are related to the very basic of the text representation used in a lot of currently most widespread formats. Processing efficiency is especially poor for random access of the text files where binary formats can utilize seeking tables. Another issue is memory space consumption, especially of the bloated text formats, where binary solutions should provide lower bandwidth utilization to cut the expenses. There are also some other reasons which were considered during the study of the binary XML activity and is available under the given link. One of the basic issues enforced by general usability and unified structure of the project is the requirement for the unlimited encoding of the numbers. This project defines unary binary encoding with variable length of the code to address this issue. The next step is the declaration of the tree structure of the protocol using blocks with a variable size. To cover various levels of requirements on data representation, protocol feature system of independent levels with rising complexity of declaration and covered functions. Tools declaration are stored in catalog or can be linked from other sources. Both centralized catalog or other declaration allows you to define hierarchical data types. It is possible to convert various data blocks using conversions transformations which can be also used to provide declaration of data meaning. Project is established step by step from simple low-level issues up to more complex constructions. There is currently available only basic implementation without any warranties towards uh, future releases. Non-verified definition up to first level is available so far and the next step shall provide support for transformations. Prototype implementation of the protocol is developed in the Java programming language. It covers testing classes for various parser approaches, streaming, serialization and basic catalog functions. There are also available various testing applications, namely basic editor, allowing usual operation with document tree structure and data content. There is also system service providing local copy of catalog and methods for performing various data transformations. Other sample applications should demonstrate some of the abilities of the protocol. That's it for now. Thank you for watching this and I hope you found anything interesting. If yes, you should visit project's webpage on xbup.sf.net where you can find a lot of other documents, files and also some other motivation videos and screencasts. Also, if you feel to like it, we would appreciate any contributions or comments.